Hi, welcome everyone. Bruce Wartz from Montreal, Quebec. Thanks so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel and for the interest that you all have. This is Today's Sun, filmed on January 29th, 2022. A historical moment in time here in Canada, and I think at the same time throughout the world. Here we're living really cold conditions, right? Minus 30s now, minus uh, 20s uh, when the sun's out. And this has been going on for weeks, and we have some peaceful protests in Ottawa standing up against tyranny, and it's just a beautiful time to be alive. Ladies and gents, we're going to see the sun today. I'm going to zoom up ever so close so we can see that sunspot on the top there, an incredible sunspot. Peter Benton got it, and him is like, it's upside down, right? He's on the other edge of the world. That's why he gets another angle. Hey, guys, I'm going to show you that spot really, really close. And again, it's not always easy to get in close. It's um, blurry sometimes when the plasma is lifting up off the surface. Even here, you can see it a little bit blurry. I'm going to get it even closer than that by descending the exposure and by using a lighter turquoise green filter. And you'll see how close uh, and how well we can see actually all the fires interacting. So again, today's sun. These are the magnetic field lines, as you can see the lines leaving there. I'm going to show some other examples from October, uh, September, throughout the year near the end of 2021. The sun is extremely aggressive. I didn't get a chance to film it today, but I'm going to try to film it tomorrow by getting up really early. So we're going to see some other examples of the sun. This is all filmed on January 29th, and once the date uh, changes, well, you'll know it's another day. Thanks again for watching, everyone. More videos coming up. That was January 29th, 2022. Let's go see some sunspots just right at the end of 2021. And then some rust on the moon. It's not every day that you can catch uh, an object on fire going by the sun. And actually in the past, I never thought I ever would even see that. Not by NASA, not by anything. NASA shows us a lot of illustrations, right? They don't show us real footage, like 99.9% .9 of the time. And when they say they show us real footage, 
is it really real footage? Just like mine. Is this real footage? I think you can tell that it is and that if I had a program to manipulate it, I'd try to make it a bit more impressive than that. For me, it's very impressive. And for those who know exactly what I just captured, it's extremely impressive. Depending on the distance, if this object is close to the sun, it's very large. Maybe this object is in the atmosphere between, um, in space, between Earth and the sun. It would change the size. Yet again, still very large. This object is on fire. It's a, look at that, it's causing uh, either the surface to react or it's causing, um, it's coming apart, something burning up, right? Like I said, every time, and I've showed it in the past several times, when something goes by the sun, unless it's very um, solid and large and maybe metallic, it's going to burn up. Even something metallic gets red hot. Once it goes by the sun, I was able to capture that once. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hey, remember that sun that I showed you with the big planet going by it? Something I want to show you. Community member sees this. Well, I'm not a paid member, just a visitor, and says, Bruce, I didn't know that the pink and green light that appears often in the screen were planets. Thanks for letting me know. You know, seriously, guys, I work hard to find and show these things. The clouds are going in front of this planet or planetoid that's going by the sun. It's that simple. That's a real life-size planet object. Now, let's talk about refraction and now look over to the right at the sun. That's the refraction circles that are around it. They're not planets. You can see the big difference with them. It's not because something's pink that's automatically a refraction circle. <laughs> the end of 2021, just before the winter hit, NASA says the moon has begun to rust and that the surface is showing signs of rust. You want to see rust? It's true at the end of 21. We'll have to do the test next year, 2022, well, this year, <laughs> to see the difference in comparison. I believe it has to do with the seasons, y'all. Hey, look at that. Yeah. There's definitely something brown on the moon and more brown than I've ever seen it before since all the other years, and I can clearly see it in my footage. But will it still remain brown in 2022? We'll find out. Reacher, we are looking at lunar hematite. What do you think of that? It's formed through oxidation of the iron on the moon surface by the oxygen from Earth's upper atmosphere. Yes, the oxygen from Earth's upper atmosphere. The mineral is a form of iron oxide or rust produced when iron is exposed to oxygen and water. Right after that, they declared there was water on the moon. Then they're talking about enough oxygen to sustain life for every <laughs> human being here on Earth if we were to go to the moon. So, more and more, we'll get more and more truth. Maybe about the UFOs. Well, it ain't too easy. Thanks so much for helping keep this channel alive. Thanks for subscribing, everyone. Cause the slow's just coming soon Cause the slow's just coming soon